Okay, just wait. Okay. Hi, and welcome to Yoga with Natalie. Today on the 16th of January, we are going to be doing some core work. So let's not think about it too much. Let's just get straight into it. Um, and we'll start in our favorite warm-up pose or breathing pose, child's pose. So bringing your knees mat distance apart. Your hips down towards your heels and stretch your arms out in front of you for extended child's pose. You can rest your forehead on a block or straight down on the mat. You can place the block in between your hips and your heels or a cushion and breathe. Bring yourself onto the mat now mentally. You got here physically. You made it. For a stronger core, try to do this yoga class at least every second day until we meet again. If you're doing it every day, you can start, even if you just do the first 15, 20 minutes, you're going to see a difference. Core is the whole trunk of our body. Whole torso, including our back and our side bodies. So let's begin coming up into the tabletop. There's lots to do, okay? So you know, as per usual, don't push into pain, work into pain-free range of motion. And if anything is too much, back off. I bet you the next time we do it, you'll get further. Okay, cat, cat, cow. Dropping the stomach, looking up towards the ceiling. Cat, chin to chest, round the spine. That's it, cow. Stomach drops, chin lifts, deep in here. Cat, chin to chest, round the spine. Cow, stomach drops, chin lifts. Cat, chin to chest, round the spine. That's it, well done. Back to tabletop neutral position, straight in for our core work. Send that right leg back, all the way back. Keep it level, so a straight line from the ankle to the right hip. And think about all that weight that might be coming into your left hip. So I'm putting lots of weight onto my left knee. And now I'm going to try and even it out by just dropping down my right hip ever so slightly and try to keep my right leg straight at the same time. Breathe. Inhale. And with your next exhale, bring that left leg arm out long. Right leg out long. Left arm out long. That's it. Well done. Keeping your focus, if you have your balance here, don't move your eyes. Looking a few feet ahead is good for the extension of your neck, but if you have your balance by looking straight down, don't move it now. And inhale, back to center. Hand and leg comes back, cat, cow. Loosen up that lower back, cow. Stomach drops, chin lifts, deep inhale. Cat. Chin to chest, push up between those shoulder blades as the hips come forward a little. Cow, drop the stomach down towards the mat. That's it, lovely dip in the lower back. Well done. Chin to chest, round the spot. For a cat, back to tabletop, neutral position. Left leg back, now sending it all the way back. Well done. Keep it nice and strong, toes pointed down. Now notice, have you shifted your weight into that right knee? If so, it's almost impossible not to do it straight off. So just drop that left hip down, thinking about your hips being in one line from the side. Breathe. Inhale. And with your next exhale, right arm out long. 
breathe. Well done. Keeping your focus and your balance by staring at one unmoving object. Holding that core strong. So making sure that your stomach isn't puffed out like mine was a second ago. Just hold, don't suck it in either. Just hold it in a neutral position. And inhale, back to center. Cat, cow, cow. Dropping the stomach, okay, up to the ceiling. We're just releasing the spine, that bit, chin to chest, round for cat. Cow, dip in the lower back. Cat, arched back. Cow, dip in the lower back, hips high. Cat, hips coming forward, the untucking underneath for cat. Coming down to child pose. Very quickly, bring the knees down, uh, hip, uh, with mat distance apart, toes together, chest down, arms out long. That's it. We're counting to five only. Three, one, two, three, four, and five. Inhale, coming all the way back to tabletop again. Well done. And inhale, right arm up and thread it through the left side, awakening the side body. Right arm up again, towards the ceiling, right hand back to the mat. Breathe, inhale, left arm up, left ear to the mat. And left arm up, hand back to tabletop. Walking the hands forward for puppy dog pose, bringing the forehead to the mat, keeping the hips over the knees. Breathe. Inhale, walking hands back. Well done. Lovely. Tabletop position. Inhale with your next exhale. Extend that right leg out long again. You've got it. Dropping the right hip down, two hips in one line. Left arm out long. Breathe. Turning the right toes to the right and slowly bringing your right leg out to the right side and the left arm out to the left side. Holding the core nice and strong. Excellent. Well done. It's not easy. Back to center. You've got it. Back to the tabletop, other side, straight away. Left leg out long, lower that left hip down. Right arm out long, breathe. Left toes, turn the left toes and bring the left uh, leg out to the left side. Right arm out to the right side. Not moving your gaze at all. For three, two, one, back to center line. And back to tabletop. Well done. Cat, cow, cow. Stomach drops, chin lifts. Deep inhale. Cat, chin to chest. That's it. Round the spine. Cow, dropping the stomach, goes up to the ceiling, chin up. Exhale. Chin to chest, round the spine. Cat, stomach drops, chin lifts. Cat. Chin to chest, round the spine. Well done. Now, turn your toes over. Keep your hands where they are. And we're going to do some knee raises. Bit more core. <laughs> well, a bit more core in tabletop. We've got a lot more core going. Inhale and exhale. Lift the knees up just even an inch, really. And I really mean that an inch makes a difference. Breathe. Inhale, exhale, drop them down. Well done. Hold it here. Just actually let your stomach just pop out a little bit or loosen up. You can actually suck your tummy in, let it go, suck it in, let it go, suck it in, let it go, just to kind of loosen up because that's you might just feel that one quite a lot in your core. Okay. When you're ready, hold it nice and firm again and inhale. Exhale, lift the knees. 
Lift the knees just a little bit, nothing else in the whole body moves. The hands don't move, the feet don't move, just the knees are coming up one inch off the mat and lowering back down again. Well done. Well, with this time, walk your hands out in front, keep your hips over your uh, knees for puppy dog pose. So puppy dog pose, as you know, our hips stay over our knees, arms walked out in front, breathe. Inhale, walk your hands back to center. And inhale once again, through this set of knee raises and exhale, lift the knees up. That's it. If you want to lift your knees up a little bit higher, you see it's not actually easier. It's actually easier if you lift them higher. So we're looking for a little bit lower, just grazing the mass. Well done. Well done. Breathe. Drop the knees down, toes together, knees wide, child's pose. Take a moment. Okay, take your breath now because we're going to run through all of that as a flow. Take a little sip of water if you wish before we begin. Come on, print the table and meet me in tabletop. Okay. Let's flow. Cat, cow, cow, drop the stomach, chin lifts. Cat, chin to chest. Cow, drop the stomach, chin lifts. Cat, curve the spine, chin to chest. Cow, inhale. Cat, exhale. Tabletop. Extend the right leg. Toes pointed down. Drop the right hip. Left arm out long. Breathe. Inhale. Two, three, four. With your exhale, turn the right toe. Right toe out to the side. Left arm out to the side. Well done. Inhale. Back to center. And back to tabletop. Other side. Your next exhale. Left leg out long. Toes pointed down. Left hip in one line with the right hip. Right arm out long. Breathe. Inhale. Two, three, four. Turn the left toes to the left. Bring the left leg out to the side. Right arm out to the side. So they're both at a diagonal. That's it. Well done. And bring it back to center, back to tabletop. Lifting the right arm long, high with an inhale and thread it through the right, left side, right ear to the mat. So exhale. Inhale, right arm out long. And exhale, right hand to the mat. Left arm long, up high. Thread it through to the right side, left ear to the mat, and left arm up high, left hand back to the mat. Well done, puppy dog pose. Walk those hands forward, forehead to the mat. Breathe. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Inhale, walking hand back to the mat, to the tabletop, sorry. Breathe. Inhale, two, three, four. Turn over the toes and lift the knees. Exhale. So lifting the knees with the exhale. That's it. Three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Release the knees down. Well done. Child's pose for one breath. Inhale, two, three, four, exhale, two, 
three, four. Inhale, back to tabletop. Turn the toes over, exhale, lift the knees. For one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well done. Puppy dog pose. Walk the hands forward, bring the forehead to the mat. Inhale, two, three, four, exhale. Two, three, four, inhale. Walk the hands back to tabletop. One more knee raise, I promise. Turn the toes over. And exhale, lift the knees up for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Don't collapse. Come down with ease. Child's pose. Well done. Take a breath. Take a drink. Well done. Now, even if you can do that every day and tell me how you feel, the difference that you feel. You can do that one every second day and then this next part every other day. Okay, so we're gonna start in the same position, which is child's pose, and we're 49 now. And we're gonna come up to tabletop with your next inhale, turn the toes over, walk the hands one step forward and bring the knees up, coming meeting me in downward dog, breathe. Walking the knees out so you can pedal them nice and slowly, not too fast. Now you're going to miss all the juicy stretch if you go too fast. Right. Pressing your chest towards the legs and just finding your lovely downward dog groove. Remembering the core at all times. Hold the core in a way that's stabilizing. We're looking for stable core. Walking the feet forward to behind the hands and just bringing in that feet hip distance apart, knee, um, uh, elbows together, right elbow, pin to chest. Slowly inhaling, coming all the way up and bringing the arms out to the side. Looking up to the thumbs. Exhale, arms down by your side. Reset. That's it. Okay, so this is your alternate day. Exhaling everything out of the lungs. And being really happy that we're here on the mat. We're doing that. Inhale, arms up over your head, palms to touch. Think about your core. Is it strong? Right arm back, left arm forward. Look at the right thumbs. Thumbs, thumb. Inhale, arms up over the head. Look at the thumb. Exhale, left arm back, right arm forward. Look at the left thumb. Inhale, arms up over the head. Look at the thumb. Exhale, mini back bend. Chest up towards the sky, up towards the ceiling. That's it, arms and cactus. Beautiful correction. Start the end. Inhale, arms up over the head. Exhale, forward fold. Let the head hang, chin to the chest. Inhale, halfway lift. Think about the core. What we're going to do, we're going to really strengthen it. Walk the feet all the way back. Now you've got options. High plank, like so, or lower those knees down. That's okay. If your knees are lower down, it's just as beneficial. Well done. Lowering all the way down with control till your chest is on the mat. Flip the toes over and lift your chest ever so slightly for mini cobra. Be really careful of the back, the lower back, especially in winter when we're not as warm as we are in the summer. Now, with your next exhale, press your chest off the mat, press your hips off the mat, knees off the mat, boom. In down dog, beautiful, breathe. 
So you know the drill. We know we start with lovely some lovely sun salutations to begin with. The first one we always go easy with just a mini cobra, not an up dog. And you know you can modify all the way along. Walking the feet forward. Inhale, halfway lift, shoulders away from ears. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms up over the head, palms to touch. Let's go with the left arm back this time. Look at the left thumb. Come. Inhale, arms up over the head. Exhale, right arm back, left arm forward. Look at the right thumb. Inhale, arms up over the head. Exhale. Mini back bend, cactus arms, press the hips forward as you press the chest up. Inhale, arms up over the head, well done. Exhale, forward fold, let the head hang. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back, shoulders away from ears. And exhale, hands on the mat, right foot back, left foot back, high plank or plank on your knees. Lowering all the way down to the mat if you're on your knees, or if you're going high plank, try going to low plank. Lift the feet over no matter where you are and come into mini cobra or up dog, rolling the ankles in towards each other. That's it, well done. Looking down at the mat, flip the feet back over again and pressing your weight back, heels down towards the mat for down dog, breathe. Well done. Walking the feet forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Shoulders away from ears. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms up over your head, palms to touch. Exhale, right arm back and left arm forward. Keep the hips facing forward, strengthening that core. Inhale, arms up over the head. Exhale, left arm back, right arm forward, keeping the hips facing forward. Inhale, arms up over the head. Mini back bend, chest, mini back bend, cactus arms. Press the chest up towards the ceiling. That's it. Inhale, arms up over the head. Look up at the thumbs. Maybe find a little crunch in the back of the neck. Careful now. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands on the mat, walking or stepping the feet all the way back to high plank. High plank or plank on the knees. Low plank or lowering down all the way to the mat with control. Lift the feet over, up dog or mini cobra. Lift the feet over again, look down at the mat and down dog. Breathe. Walking the feet forward. So they're behind the hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale. Forward fold. Inhale, arms up over your head, palms to touch. Now listen straight back into it. Exhale, all the way back down. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, shoulders away from ears. Exhale, walking the legs all the way back and stay in high plank or plank on your knees. I'm going plank on my knees. Okay, so you can do high plank or plank on your knees. Now, listening carefully. Lower your left elbow down. And then your right elbow down. If you're on plank on your knees, you can try it first on the first day this way. Breathe. Now, I'm on plank on my knees and both my elbows are on the ground. I'm actually, I'm going to interlace your fingers in front if it feels better to do so. Now, you can keep your toes turned over, and if you are on plank on your knees, you're going to lift your knees up. If you're on, if you're in plank, elbow plank, with heavy on your knees, well done. Breathe, everyone. Bring your knees down to the mat, toes together, 
and come back into a child's pose. Inhale, walking, coming back to tabletop, resetting by taking one step forward with the hands from tabletop. Turn the toes over, lift the knees and coming into down dog. Then we should be at our right alignment. Just shuffle a little bit if you need to make your down dog a bit wider. You know now what feels good. So you just shuffle the feet back. And when you're ready, I want you to concentrate really now and think about how we're going to do this. We're going to come into high plank. So you're going to lift your heels up, up towards the ceiling, as it, not towards the ceiling, but move, shift your weight forward by lifting your heels off the mat if you're there already. Come into high plank. That's it. High plank. Holding plank here or a plank on your knees. So anytime you hear me say high plank, plank on the knees, it's just as acceptable. It's, hurt. it's gonna do you the world of good. Feeling in the side body, feeling it everywhere. Hold, feeling it strong and release by coming back up to down dog. For three, two, one. We'll stay here for the inhale. Two, three, four. Exhale, plank or plank on the knees. For two, three, four. Inhale, down top. For two, three, four. Exhale, plank. Two, well done. Three, four, inhale, stand up. For two, three, four, well done. We're coming into child's pose, release those wrists, give them a shake. Breathe. The strength. Amazing. We're eight minutes into this alternate day. Alternate, <laughs> that sounds sci-fi. Just so you know. We're gonna come into some side plank, okay? So when you're ready, tabletop. And this is a really good way of measuring out our down dog as well. We're learning lots today, but it really is. Uh, Take a step out with your hands, palm tabletop, turn the toes over, lift into down dog, see if that feels good. Remember your feet should be hip distance apart and if your tabletop is set up correctly, they should still be hip distance apart. See how it feels. Do you feel that lovely little nook of comfort? Great. Lift your right leg high, right leg high into right, into right three leg dog. <laughs> There's such a thing. Now, think about bringing that knee into the body, under the chest and bringing it forward. See if you can tap that right knee against the left elbow, even just for a sec or even just that direction. Bring it back up to high three leg dog again. Well done, drop it down. Other side, left leg high, left leg high. Now bring the left leg in, bend it and bring it in towards the chest, passing through, just passing. Left knee towards the right elbow, breathe. Just tap it and come back again, up to three leg dog. That's it, come into a child's pose whenever you need. Tip the word now and down dog again. Okay, are you ready? Let's go. Right leg high. And bring it into the body. Across. Tap the left elbow or as close as. Right leg high again. Let's go again with the same leg. That's it. Right knee, right elbow. Well done. Right leg high. One more. Right knee, right elbow. 
Inhale, right leg high, right foot back to down dog. Left leg high, left knee, right elbow or in the directional. Left leg high, left knee, right elbow. Left leg high, last one, you can do it. Left knee, well done, right elbow. Child pose. <laughs> So nice, it's a child pose. I need it too, don't worry. Forehead to the mat, well done. Breathe. Now we're going to do our side plants up to tabletop again. Walk the hands forward. One step. Bring the hips up into down dog. We're gonna go from down dog, okay? Because it can be tricky enough going from core. If you can do it from plank, go ahead. But I'm gonna go from down dog. Okay, so I'm gonna bring my left hand and I'm putting it in the center of the mat. And then I'm going and turning my left foot to get the knife edge of my left foot against the mat on the center line. Then I'm lifting over my right arm up. And lastly, I'm gonna put my right foot on top of my left foot. I'm going to try not to look at myself in the camera or anyone else. That's it. Now, if you're having trouble doing that, so you want to bring your, le your left foot, the, the pinky, the baby toe edge should be on the mat. That's it. That's it. Well done. Beautiful. Good correction. Dropping the left knee down if it feels better to do so. Breathe. Right hand back to the mat. Left hand back, down top. Let's try the other side. Right hand in the center of the mat. Right foot in the center of the mat. Then turn the foot so the toes are pointed towards the left side. That the baby finger, baby toe, they call them baby fingers, toe finger, feet fingers, I'm hungry. The edge is on the mat. Okay, now lift the left arm high and bring the left foot on top of the right foot. Breathe, holding the core. For three, two, one. Well done. Left hand back to the mat, right hand back to the mat. Child's pose, toes together, knees together uh, apart. Look after those wrists. Let's try that side plank, okay, a different way. I want you to lie on the side of your mat like this, okay? So just lie with your whole body on the side of the mat, propped up on your elbow. There we go, okay? Now, I have to think about this now. <laughs> okay. So start bringing your, your body up a little bit and bring your elbow to underneath your shoulder. It might mean you have to shift your weight forward a little bit, shift your body a bit forward a little bit. Your hand is out long in front, like facing the camera. Okay, uh, well mine is. So it's, it's basically uh, parallel with the short side of the mat from your elbow to your, your fingers. Now, you're on the side, your knife edge of your foot should be flush against the side of the mat. Your knees can be bent, it's okay. Walk, because we're gonna straighten them. Walk the feet, Let's try and straighten the legs, okay? Not all the way, a little bend still. And then lift the hips up, leaving your knees on the mat as well. Okay, so look, that's all I've done. I'm just going to take this right arm out, up out of the way so you can see what I'm doing. That's it. You can have your, you don't have to keep your hand up if you don't want to. 
So all I'm doing is lifting my hips up. My knees are on the mat. There's a slight bend in the legs. Lifting the hips up and lowering them down again. Okay, let's do some hip dips. Are you ready? Inhale and exhale, lift the hips up. Inhale, drop the hips down. Two, three, four. Exhale, lift. Two, three, four. Inhale, down. Two, three, four. Inhale, lift. Two, three, four. Exhale, down. Two, three, four. Well done. Other side. I'm just going to shimmy. I'm going up. I'm shimmying to this side so you can still see. Okay. We can turn over if you wish. Same thing, other side. Elbow under the shoulder. Right arm parallel with the short side of the mat. You can place your hand in front of your body if it helps with your balance. Okay, it's not that balance is an issue here. Uh, and balance might be an issue in general, but when we're using new poses, it can really kind of just clock us sometimes. Okay, so inhale and exhale, lift the hip up. Hips up, I should say. And lowering it down with the inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, lift the hips up. Two, three, four. Inhale, lowering them down. Two, three, four. Lift the hips up. Two, three, four. Keep shoulder above shoulder. Inhale, lift the hips down. For two, three, four. One more. Lift the hips up. For two, three, four, lowering the hips down. For two, three, four, well done. Swing your legs around and come into belly shavasana. That can be alternate day, which is a little bit more advanced than the other one. Belly Shavasana, either your left ear on the mat. Let's go with the left ear on the mat. So I don't say it over and over, like left or right. Let's go left ear on the mat. Breathe. So that one is 20 minutes. So the first ones are at 15 minutes and the second one is 20 minutes. Well done, that was not easy. But after we've done it a few times, it will get easier. I don't know where my mic is now, I hope you can hear me. Belly Shavasana, otherwise known as, oh, I must sweep the floor again. Core strength is also about the back also. So do not do this next section unless you have done the whole class because your spine will not be warmed up enough, okay? So remember this, the last 20 minutes you don't do unless you have done the previous 40 minutes. Please, chin to center. Toenails are against the mat, if you have any. <laughs> lifting, <laughs> sorry, lifting your chest off the mat for mini cobra, just starting slow here. We're gonna work up. Lifting the chest off the mat, bringing the gaze off the wall in front of you. And then see if you can lift your hands off the mat. For three, two, one, release, right ear to the mat, belly shavasana. See, that wasn't so bad. The belly shavasana, don't forget our toes are together, our heels are flopped apart. It really just releases those hips. And give me a bit of a hip shimmy there. So hip, hip, hips, just shimmy from side to side. And like, in other words, shake your bum. 
Where are these glasses? Okay, everyone's favorites. Chin to center. Lift the right hip up. Turn your palms, your hands over. So your palms and your hands are facing down and slide your right hand in, arm in underneath the right hip. Lift the right hip up. Oh, sorry, put the right hip down and lift the left arm. Lift, lift the left hip up <laughs> and slide the left arm underneath. Okay, so basically both arms are under the body as much as possible. Your palms are flush against the mat and your hips should be pressing in against your arms. Inhale. The next exhale, we're going to lift that right leg as high as you can. That's it. So don't worry if your right toes aren't touching the ceiling. The first time I did this, I got them around three inches off the mat, not messing. That is fine. I think it took me around four years to get them any higher. And right foot down again. Left foot up. Breathe. Left leg down. Lift the right hip and shuffle that right arm underneath a bit more. Lift the left hip and shuffle that left arm underneath a little bit more. Breathe. Inhale with your next exhale. Put and um, push into the mat with the palms of the hands at the same time. Lift both legs at the same time. Zip the legs up together. Lifting, lifting, lifting higher or hold if it feels good where you are for three, two, one, and release the left ear to the mat. Well done, breathe. Last back, back exercise, I promise, for today. Chin back to center, arms out in front. Make it your best one. We're only going to do it once. Superman pose. Arms out in front, and we're going to lift the arms and the legs, okay? So inhale, and with your next exhale, lift your arms up. Lift your legs up as well. That's it. Lift the arms and the legs, arms and the legs. Hold them where you have them right now. For five, hold, four, keep them up, three, you can do it, two, we're almost there, one, and release. Don't slap. Lower down with grace, right ear to the mat, belly shavasana, toes together. Well done. I'm spacing up. You ask for four. <laughs> no, it's really good. To the core. With the focus on core. We always do four, but the focus and spotlight on core is really healthy. When you're ready, chin back to center. Bring your hands to beside your chest. Press yourself up away from your mat. Walk forward with your knees. Place your bum on the mat. Coming down straight away. Your whole spine on the mat for wind removes being posed. This is our counter pose for all those back bends. So if you're doing the recording and you wish to do this cool down, you can pop back into the class now, okay? Because this, from here on, it's okay if you do it with day one or alternate day two. I finish with this little bit at the end, <clears throat> excuse me. It's just those intense back bends we have to watch out for. 
That's it. Left hand on top of right knee and bring the legs over to the right. At the same time, look at, bring the right arm out long, look at the right thumb. Breathe, super interesting. Legs back to center, gaze back to center. Right hand on top of the left knee and bring the guide, the legs over, bring them over to the right. Left arm out long, look at the left thumb. Left shoulder is on the mat and chin towards the left shoulder, breathe. Bring the knees back to center. Place your hands on your knees again and just do some little knee circles with those um, knees. The main thing we're looking for is not for your knees to be doing knee circles. That's not the aim. It's not, the knees aren't really doing anything here. It's that the movement that we're creating with our knees is actually massaging out the lower back. Now that can only happen if your lower back is actually on the on the mat. So make sure that your lower back is on the mat. As much of your lower back on the mat as possible. And rotate the knees around the other way. That's it. One more. Pose. Bring the feet down to the mat, bring the soles of the feet together, let the knees drop out to the side. Now, another lovely thing to do here, I think it's just luxurious, is if you have some blocks, wedge them close to your hips, just to let the legs release. Lower back is flush against the mat. You can also bring those blocks and let them, you'll find your space for them. You know, like if you're very, um, if you don't have very tight inner thighs, then you might even get your blocks, your knees to rest on your block. It's just releasing different sets of muscles. You can stay here for Shavasana, or you can come into regular Shavasana, corpse pose. I just get some socks because I get their blanky socks, some jumpers, whatever you need. So for corpse pose, the, the line flat on the back and your legs might be a bit further apart than they normally are. Toes are pointed in opposite directions. Great. 